Welcome to a video entitled Visual Studio Basics. Now that you've installed Visual Studio, let's open it up. And I want to show you a couple of things because the Visual Studio IDE or Integrated Development Environment has two common characteristics, especially when it applies to new users or people who haven't been into this environment very often. Number one, you'll notice there are endless configuration possibilities and this leads to endless possibilities for confusion and then even outright frustration. And I'm going to show you how to handle some of that. So let's just take a quick tour of this interface. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go out to the desktop and I'm in a Windows 2012 Windows 8 environment. So if I go to my start screen, I can choose Visual Studio 2013. Now I can also right click on this tile and choose to pin it to the taskbar. Right now I have it pinned, so it's toggling to unpin. So if yours says pin to taskbar, you can do that right there. And then when you go to the desktop, then if you look on your taskbar, there will be Visual Studio 2013. So it's very easy to get to and open it. And those were opening the Community 2013 version. And we're just going to create a new project. So we'll just click on New Project. And I'm just going to take a Windows Forms application and click OK just to get it open to look around. Now, one thing I want you to notice, almost everything about this environment is dynamic. It will change based on what you're working on, what you're doing. If you noticed when this form appeared, we got a lot more options up here on the top. And depending on where you are and what you're working on, you're going to see different menu items up here. Also, there's a number of various toolbars, toolbar buttons. Notice I can choose this to add or remove buttons, and I can add a lot of different things up here. I can go to the view menu item, and notice I can do toolbars. And notice I only have two toolbars up here. So I have a lot of other toolbars that I can add for working. Notice I can add a text editor up here, and I can see things that are going on. And then I can double click on the form right here. And uh, this is going to open up a code window for me in the background. And then notice my toolbars come to life. And then I may even see some different menu items up here. Another thing is notice that a properties window is up down here. It's in the bottom half of the screen. And if I move my mouse right here, I can click and drag and make this larger or smaller. Then at the top, this has tabs at the bottom. And I can click on the tabs and go to other aspects of Visual Studio or functionalities. So there's a lot of things happening here. And then over here on the left side, I can mouse over these various things and click. And this will open like a toolbox. Now notice, if I mouse away and click, toolbox closes. And if I move over here and click on it again, it shows up. Well, if I click this little push pin, auto hide, and pin it, it stays up there all the time, and then I can resize it. The idea here is that if I ever need all the screen real estate out here for coding, I can simply click this push pin and just go clean everybody's push pins out, and I have the entire screen for coding or working, whatever I would like. Then if I want to see these things again, I can come out here, click on them, set the push pin, and see them just like they were. Then properties. I will click the push pin here. I'm going to come back over here and grab toolkit and push this one. I want to show you something else that can happen here and then show you the nuclear option for getting back to where you started. You can decide sometimes that, hey, you know what? I really don't like these things this way. I want to move them around. So I would like properties to be a tab in here as well. So I can left click on the title bar for properties and start to drag it. And when I do, notice these little icons start to appear everywhere. Notice I can put it inside that window, or I can put it under that window, or to the right. Now, if I put it to the right of that window, now I have this kind of a stack situation. And I don't like that at all, so I'm going to drag this back, put it in that window, and then let go. And notice Properties is now a tab within that window. Now, a lot of people like this because when I have a lot of properties out here, I'll drag a button on and click on the button. You can see there's a lot of properties on that button, and I can see them a lot easier. This is all a personal taste thing. 
I could have also dragged properties like this and stuck it out here. And wait a minute, I don't like that. Then I can grab Team Explorer and drag it over here. And before you know it, I've got a mess. And I don't know how to move around here and I don't know how to get anything back the way I like it. And the more I click and drag things, you know, the uglier this gets. And I don't know where anything is now. Let me show you the solution if this ever happens to you. If you start customizing the layout and get confused, just go to Window, come down and choose a Reset Window Layout. It'll ask you, are you sure? You're about to restore the default window layout. Just say yes. It takes you right back to where it was when you opened this thing up. So what I want to tell you is feel free to play with the environment here and understand this nuclear option for resetting your window layout. There are all sorts of other windows that you can see. Here's the Solution Explorer, Team Explorer. If you just go to the View icon, for example, if I ever accidentally close my Properties window, if I want to get it back, I can just go to View and come down and look around for the Properties window. And so if I look around, I will eventually see it, or I can see more down here. If there's an arrow at the bottom, I can hit Properties window and get it back right there. So this interface can be just a bit intimidating. Don't let it throw you too bad. Just get used to it. And remember, Window, Reset Window Layout will always get you back to where you started.